Hi everyone, it's Alejandra, and um, I'm standing here in my linen closet. Um, I think I told you guys before, this is my favorite space in the house because it has um, pretty wallpaper on the back of the wall. It's super functional, and I have these really cute picture labels on the front of each box. So let me show you. You, sp you saw this in like the house tour video, but hold on. Um, sorry, this is kind of hard to maneuver. Um, okay, so, oops, alright, you know, the cleaning supplies, the medications, um, this is like my pharmacy, that's what I like to call it, is my pharmacy, um, but there's part of the closet that you haven't seen yet, and, okay, I'm sorry, this is like so wobbly, um, but there's another half of the closet that nobody has seen, in fact, maybe like two or three people have seen it, but, you guys haven't seen it, so I'm going to show you. Um, for a while, um, I have been searching... Let me put this back down. For a while, I've been searching um, or trying to figure out a way to um, organize with a bifold door. Um, bifold doors are so annoying. Bifold doors and doors that slide into the wall, you can't do anything with. I take that back you can do very minimal with. It's very difficult to maximize the inside or the outside of the door because of the way it folds or um, shuts. So, like, literally, I've been thinking for like six or eight months now, what can I do with the bifold door? Like, there must be something you can do with the way you organize it or whatever. Um, so, like, I've been Googling, like, how to organize a bifold door, like how to maximize your space with a bifold door. Like I asked at the container store, I um, asked my colleagues and like nobody could figure it out. And I was like, well, you know what? I'm going to figure it out. So I figured out um, what to do with my bifold doors and now I'm going to share it with you. Um, so what I did is I, um, you can't see this, but um, basically what I did is the top this is a really bad explanation, but I'm not going to stop this video. Um, you guys are just going to have to deal with my nonsense and craziness in this video. Um, let me show you. Okay, do you see how um, this goes into like the top of the track? Yeah. So what I did was it actually goes in that little white piece up there, like that piece, and it still goes in, but it's just a little harder to get back in. There we go. Alright, so it actually goes in this piece. Hang on. Alright. I can't get it back in. But what I did was I cut a little slit at the very top. Do you see that? So I can take it off this little, this little um, sliding track. And what I did was I unlatched it or unleashed it. I don't even know if that makes sense, but I took it off and now you can open the door like this and what I did was I added door pockets in the inside of the door. <laughs> you guys are probably like, she's crazy, but what I did was I added these door pockets for all my travel size cosmetics because, hang on, let me put this camera back here. There we go. Okay, so what I did was, before, before this craziness, I had all of my travel size cosmetics, or like travel size like shampoos, conditioners, lotions, first aid, just like in a box right here, just like all my other stuff. Um, and it had a little travel, um, like a travel picture with a travel word right here. Um, and it was just like so jam-packed, there was like two bins and like, I just wasn't feeling it. I was like, there must be another way. So um, I added the door pockets and I sorted all the travel products by type, like um, shampoo, conditioner, makeup remover, body wash, lotions, grooming, soap, um, tissues, like any category I had. And obviously I came up with like 30 categories because there's like 30 pockets here. And it works so beautifully. Let me get a... Um, I'm going to get a little travel bag and just do a little mock, pretend like I'm packing for a trip even though I'm not, and just show you how easy it is. Hold on. Okay, so I um, grabbed my 
it's a little cosmetic bag and it's actually like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Um, <laughs> I'm just like, that just shows you like the clown inside of me. But um, okay, so I'm going to pretend like I'm packing for a trip and just show you how easy it is. Okay, so I'm going on my trip and I know I need shampoo. So I grab the shampoo, conditioner, um, I'm going to need face wash, I'm going to need lotion, um, and let's just say I want to bring some Advil in case I get a headache, whatever. Um, so I grab it, it's so easy, and then when I come back from the trip, I literally just pull everything out, like I'm not going to have shampoo to put back, but let's just pretend I do. Come back and literally just like put it back in its places, um, lotions go there, Advil goes here, and um, uh, face wash goes there. Like it's so easy. It's just super easy. Um, wow, like this video is really all over the place. The point of this video is to tell you to think outside the box when it comes to organizing. Like just because these are made, these door pockets are made for shoes, you can use them for other things. You've seen my videos, you know I have them all over my house, I love them. Um, but also, you know, if you think something's impossible, it's not impossible. You just gotta keep thinking about it. So when I thought that um, storing things on a bifold door was impossible, yeah, it took me like six months to come up with this, this idea, but um, like, I'm totally utilizing all of my vertical space now. Like. It was worth the wait. Also, let me just show you what else I did. Um, these door pockets don't have labels. So what I did was I created my own label. Was I put a little um, business card pocket on the, um, the back of the shoe pocket. And then I created this cute little label. It's actually just like a background that I created. Um, I labeled the pocket, or the, the label, and then I put this inside. And it's beautiful. It matches the um, the design that is in this closet. So that is the other half of the closet. Um, I know some of you are going to be like, you're crazy. Like, don't you have enough space in here? But yes, I do have plenty of space in this closet. But I'm always looking to maximize my space and looking for creative ways um, to, uh, to do things around the house. So... Anyways, uh, if you like the idea, feel free to steal it, tell anybody, share the video, do whatever you want. I will see you soon. Bye.